Okay, so um, last week we had the commencement for this. So uh, it's the, uh, the definition of the operating system we discuss about it, right? So what are the major functionalities like being a virtual machine, uh, allowing the application programs to run on its, uh, run, run their particular uh, programs and uh, managing the resources kind of things. Then we discuss about the uh, evolutions of the operating system, right? Uh, the uh, no operating system era, simple batch system, right? And uh, we talk about the multi-program batch system as well, how the CPU and memory uh, is involved to have the 100% uh, utilization inside the CPU. And then the time sharing system, we discuss about that as well. And uh, I think, uh, today we are about to discuss about these main functions of an operating system, right? So here, uh, the, regarding the main functions of an operating system, uh, I just uh, give you a summary, give you a summary uh, kind of things because uh, like from here after in the entire lesson, we are going to talk about uh, these kind of functions, how these things are happening. So. Uh, First, I'm just introducing the things, right? So the first function is like uh, providing the interfaces uh, to the user. So without any interface, uh, we won't, we, we are not uh, very much interested to uh, work with a particular uh, device, right? If you uh, take your mobile phone as an uh, example, uh, if, if, if some uh, operating system comes with that device, which is not very user-friendly and which is not very colorful, like you will be having some uh, thoughts of like whether I need to use this or not, right? It's, it, it's, it, is, it is purely uh, on the interesting part now, right? But uh, when it comes to the user interface, it is not only the attractive factor should be there. Uh, uh, like moreover, it should be user-friendly, right? And nowadays, uh, specifically uh, these mobile devices uh, like, they are majorly using two operating system, which is the Android and the iOS, right? So both these interfaces are very user-friendly uh, and it is uh, you like it is user-friendly that, that a kid can do the operations just by uh, uh, in, like, like just by uh, seeing on the address work on that interface. Then after a little time, the kid will uh, uh, realize, okay, this is the way it's going to happen. So it is that user-friendly, right? So that is a must for an interface. And again, to provide an interface, there should be an operating system. Without the operating system, uh, we won't be able to receive any kind of interface, right? So uh, nowadays, like uh, we use the interfaces with lots of graphics. So we generally call it graphical user interface, the GUI. Earlier, uh, we had CLIs, command line interfaces, where we didn't find any graphics inside it, uh, but the uh, commands and text-based things only, right? Uh, like we discussed in the uh, uh, second generation of this operating system, right? And uh, not like, like providing the interface is one of the major functions of an operating system. Other than that, uh, as we talk about, uh, it has an aspect of uh, managing the resources in the computer. So now resources means like uh, there are different kinds of resources and different kinds of management that the operating system is doing. Process management is one of the uh, critical managing part that is done by the operating system. So uh, we are going to talk about that process management uh, as a, a big part of this lesson. So actually process management is the uh, uh, hot topic of the operating system. Right? So later you will learn what is a process and what is the difference between a program and a process, right? right? For the moment, I'll just say process, processors will be created by the programs when they are in the execution. Right, so later we'll learn how these processes are being managed and uh, what is the contribution of the operating system to uh, manage these processes and how they are going to process, how they are going to manage these things, likewise. 
right then the resource management here we are talking about the uh, the tangible resources the uh, uh, the hardware that we can see right so specifically uh, the processor the main memories uh, input devices output devices kind of things right so like when it comes to the memory we are going to talk about the main memory which is a volatile one and the uh, secondary storage or the secondary memory uh, as a non-volatile one so how the storage are being allocated and how the memory uh, is managed right and uh, which kind of things that the operating system are involved with the cpu uh, right we know like cpu is there to execute the things what is received by it so operating system is the one who is deciding which kind of things that i'm going to send to the cpu for the moment right so cpu is responsible of executing and the operating system is responsible of providing things to the cpu right as well as in the inputs and outputs when the things are taken from the inputs operating system do the management like uh, to which part or like to which devices these instructions should be uh, carried into and how those things are being uh, managed and uh, when it comes to the output in part uh, it manages the output devices right so operating system is the one who is directing the things to the monitor to the printers and to the speakers and uh, he is looking after this thing so without the operating system uh, like we actually like we will be there like uh, without doing anything or with, uh, cannot, uh, we won't be able to proceed anything with the uh, computer if we do not have an operating system with us, right? So uh, here I have shown you the uh, components when uh, the resources are being managed, how, what are the resources kind of things. So input devices, storage, output, process, memory, and all these things are there. So it is done by the operating system. And later we are talking about the security and the protection. So there are some uh, uh, security features given by the operating system, like as an example, the username and the password, right? So the, uh, apart from that, other than that, uh, there are many different uh, things that you can uh, talk when we are talking through this. We'll see when the topics are there, right? Okay, so the uh, first, uh, part is the uh, classification of operating system after that. So the classifying part is done uh, based on several different things, right? So they based on the user and they use uh, and they uh, divide this into the single user operating systems, multi-user operating system kind of things. And later they are going to divide this in uh, 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 on the basis of task single task operating system and the single uh, the multitask operating system <clears throat> later they are going to add these two factors together the task and the user then they are like doing the categorization again right and later that you will be seeing uh, there will be more categorization based on the uh, process handling uh, based on the responses right so we'll see so first uh, we are talking about uh, the operating system uh, classification which is based on the user so here we are talking about single user uh, computers so like single user operating system means now uh, the operating systems that you and me are using is a single user operating system so i'm just uh, showing you some uh, pdf document uh, so i just got an operating system and i am a one particular user which is using this so i can define me as a single user right so single user is using a particular operating system right and later uh, we can uh, uh, contribute or like we can categorize this as multi-users now now don't get the uh, don't misunderstand this multi-user means like several different people are just using a one physical computer it is not something like that uh, I, I have put this uh, particular uh, image to indicate uh, yes it is a one operating system can be used by many different users in many diff different places like if you think about a cloud os or a server-based operating system 
right? Like Windows Server and all these things. We can install it into a server computer and later through a network, we can allow the users to access the server computer and do the performance. Is it? Oh my God, that's very nice. That's cute. Can I give it to me? Okay. He's so stinky. Ah, right, okay. But can you help me make the hearts? Not now, just one more class now. Okay, I will come after the class. <gasps> it's, it's a china shop. It is, it is. Right. And uh, yeah, now if you consider a network with a server computer, so the server computer uh, has a lot of performances or like uh, it is it is an advanced machine uh, which which has a more processing power more storages right uh, more memory inside it so it's kind of a uh, uh, what we call uh, an advanced computer than the personal computer so that type of computer can have the operating system inside it and that operating system can be shared with the client computers right so like we discussed in the uh, second lesson we we talked about this classification called supercomputers uh, the mainframe computers the mini computers and the microcomputers so when we are talking about the mini computers i told you about this situation right uh, there can be a computer which can serve for several number of computers not a lot like 10 to 15 computers right so in such computer in a mini computer we can install a particular operating system and can allow to the others to access that computer through a network and have the facility of the operating system right so those computers uh, the client computers will not be having the operating system inside itself instead of that all the computers through the network will access the operating system inside the server computer right so on that point we can say it is a multi-user operating system right and again uh, if you are working with a uh, cloud-based uh, application right now uh, as an example if you think about the uh, google docs right so if you open a google docs that means uh, you are on the cloud os which is given by the uh, uh, the Google Corporation. So uh, like myself and the people who have shared my uh, document can work on the same document on the same platform. So it is also a kind of multi-user working environment, right? So kind of things, right? Them on Google Doc open corrupt. Uh, if I take a new document and I can share with the, this document with you also i'm working on the chrome operating system right which is uh, given to me through the browser so when i'm working someone else can work on this particular document as well right so it is a kind of uh, multi-user environment right okay so then they uh, divide it is based on the task so they say it's a single task computers or single task operating systems and the multitask operating system now the operating systems that we are using today those are called multi-use operating system i'm sorry multitask operating systems right because if you can see like uh, if you take my desktop as an example so you can see there are several different uh, uh, programs are here Right, I got uh, Windows Explorer, I got uh, the Chrome, I got WhatsApp, I got YouTube, I got Zoom, I got my whiteboard, and I got the PDF. Right, so several different tasks are done so at the same time. So those are called multi task computers. Right, and earlier <clears throat> we had single task computers. Right, so if you now today you can experience that uh, if you uh, uh, if you are using the CMD command line or the command prompt, right? So, like this, this is kind of a uh, interface which I told you as CLI command line interface. So, 
to work with this, we have to give the command one after the other. We can't give like several number of commands together, right? So if I uh, type something over here, so if I type dir, so you should know what are the uh, commands that you can execute. If I type dir and uh, press enter, so it will show me uh, uh, the output regarding that uh, particular command. So dir stands for directory. So if I press dir, it will show what are the things or the, what are the directories, what are the folders inside this location. So I mean, C user, users and user folder. So inside the user folder, it will show me what are the components inside it. So if I want to do something else, I have to uh, uh, go with the specific command with this. So this particular, uh, nowadays this is just a software, but early days, this was the operating system. So this is capable of absorbing a one particular command and executing it, right? So the commands will be executed one after the other in the way, they, in the way we are uh, providing those things to the operating system. So those are called single task operating systems, right? And uh, later, as I told you, these things will be uh, like combined together and make more categories, right? Single user, single task. And as I told you, if someone is working with the, uh, uh, we call this the disk operating system, MS-DOS. If someone is working with this, now this is single user, only one user working with a single task operating system. So it is single user, single task. When, you are, when, we, when we are working with the Windows operating system, now this is a single user multitask operating system. So I'm, I'm just a single user and uh, I'm using these kind of, uh, uh, these no several number of programs at once. So single user multitask. And multi-user multitask means the uh, one I told you when the server computer includes the operating system, uh, I can uh, log into that server computer and do several tasks like listening to the uh, music and I'm uh, typing some document and someone else can uh, draw a picture uh, just by opening an image using a, a image editing software. So he's doing some particular some other work. So it's multi-users and uh, the task can be executed multiply, right? So it doesn't matter which computer use which particular application, right? So that kind of a thing is called multi-user multitask. All right, people, before I uh, proceed, is it clear so far? Okay, how about others? Right, great. Okay, so moving forward, uh, this is another type of categorization. So this is uh, uh, based on the process handling. Now earlier, we based on the task, we based on the users, and we based on both of the factors, right? So uh, those both the factors introduce us single user, single task, single user, multitask and multi-user, multitask, right? And now we are introducing something called multi-threading, right? Now, what is this multi-threading? Now it is based on the process handling. <clears throat> now, as I told you earlier, process is related to a program in execution. Right, when only program is executed, then only the processes are being made, right? So those processes will be taken into the RAM for the execution, to start the ex execution, right? Inside the RAM, it won't get executed. One of those will be taken into the uh, CPU, then it is going to execute. So if an operating system has the capability of handling multiple processors. Now, actually, when it, here it's it's not the multiple processors. These big processors will be divided into smaller processors further. 
So those smaller processors are called a thread, right? So uh, now these multiple small processors will be able to handle by the operating system accordingly. So if the operating system has that ability, we categorize that particular operating system as a multi, I'm sorry, as a multi-threading operating system. So nowadays, like almost every operating system has the multi-threading ability because we are working with modern uh, technologies and uh, all the operating systems that are planning and uh, that are introducing, that are using these days, has the ability of working with these uh, different kinds of processes. Right, so we call it the multi-threading operating system. Right, so this is something I uh, like, something to understand by yourself that I have put it here. Right, so it has different kinds of subprograms. Here in the picture, you have n number of subprograms. If the operating system has the ability to interact with those, so it is called a multi-threading operating system. And the last one is called the, uh, uh, like it, it, it category under the response time, like how quick the response is going to uh, be there from the operating system. So based on that, we uh, category this as the real time operating system, real time operating system. So that means when the inputs are given instantly, the particular output will be made, right, instantly, right? So that is why we call this a real-time operating system. So like, uh, like uh, as the example says, in robots, in ATM machines, uh, traffic uh, observation and controlling systems, right, uh, OS for the uh, operating, uh, like the spacecraft, right, air ticketing systems kind of things. So those can be taken as the real-time operating systems. So like if you take an ATM machine, uh, the operating system inside it, when we deposit the machine, uh, when we deposit the uh, money, uh, the account balance will be increased instantly, right? When we withdraw the things, account balance will be decreased instantly, right? So it's kind of a real-time system or the real-time operating system. And if you think about the robotics, they are responding uh, to the changes of the environment. So they will uh, capture the uh, changes on the environment from their sensors, like cameras, like uh, uh, proximity sensors, right, kind of things, temperature sensors, kind of things, and then act according, right? So uh, it's not only the uh, robots, we can apply this into a smart system as well, right? So if you if you are if you are, if your uh, house is integrated with a smart system, so when the uh, when it is getting night or when it is getting darker, the uh, bulbs will be uh, light on automatically, right? So it, it is instant. light Likewise. So it is called the real time and, and Google Maps or like the map uh, operating systems or Google Map is an application. And if, if you think about the GPS system in your uh, vehicle, right, in your parents' vehicle, so it is can be taken as a uh, real time system, right? So that means like when it comes to the uh, GPS operating systems, it is just tracking the uh, traffic ahead and according to that, uh, it informs us what do we do, right? What to be done. So yeah, those are the uh, categorization of the operating systems, uh, like the classifications. So we classified it uh, under the task, we classified it under the user, we classify it uh, by considering both the facts, which is the user and the task. And then we classified uh, under the response time, and then we classified it under the, uh, uh, the handling the processes, right? So those kind of classifications can be arranged to an operating system. Okay.
people is that clear any questions regarding this all right so now we are going to talk about the file types now here uh, don't miss uh, take this as a uh, the file types that we can see on our computer we are going to talk about those file types as well here they are trying to introduce us the way we can see a file that means the the way that the user can see a file and how that particular file can be seen by the operating system right so <clears throat> if i illustrate uh, this thing in diagrammatically hold on Opening the incorrect one. Yeah, now it's it's like this. Now, your computer has a hard disk, right? So this hard disk, has a, uh, inside it, there are storage letters. Right, so on these letters, we have the file. File means like actual ones and zeros. Right, so we are having a file means we are having ones and zeros. Actually, this is not the ones and zeros that is uh, reside in the uh, on this platter but for the moment let's it's, it's going to be the mechanical particles no so for the moment let's say it is ones and zeros so we are not going to see it like this how we are going to see this there is a monitor and on the monitor we saw this particular file right so this is how we see this right and this particular file is called the logical view of the file logical view right but think about it carefully actually this data is on this platter in the form of ones and zeros so the operating system sees it on that manner, right? So that is called the physical way. Right? So logical way is for the user. We can see it in many different formats, like text, like images, like videos, like audios, and all these things. Anyhow, like, like any particular data or any particular file that you are seeing, the operating system will see it as a bunch of ones and zeros, which we call the physical view. Is that clear, people?
Yes, everyone, is it clear? Okay, okay. Right, so, and when it comes to the uh, logical view, it's a linear collection of records, can be a, a image file, and uh, we, can, we can understand it, it is working as a linear sequence of bytes, byte well, uh, to okay. In the physical view, how the operating system sees this, uh, it has many possibilities, right? It is not necessarily uh, contiguous. Right, it's not contiguous. Sometimes it may not contiguous, right? Sometimes it, it, it may, right? And however, it is just uh, seen a whole bunch of ones and zeros regarding that particular file, right? So that is what you call the physical view. And when it comes to the file attributes, it gives you a file type or the type of the file as well. Now, it's a different story here in the uh, file attributes, right? So you can uh, take this window, file attribute uh, window in any, uh, regarding any file in your computer, right? So how we are going to uh, find it, like you can right click on that file and uh, from the menu, you only need to move to the place called properties. So we ask the properties. Here it is, properties. So then you will be receiving that kind of a window. So it has the uh, uh, file name, right? Right, so it has a file name over here, right? And the type, here it says it's a JPG, right? And the owner, so here the location is there. Uh, owner, it doesn't, uh, it, 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 is, it is inside this uh, security or detail tabs. And the file organization, whether it is indexed or random, again goes with the details, right? And access permissions, like right over here. Right, and time and date it is being created. So created time is there, modify time is there, and the uh, uh, last access time is there. Right, so that is given by this section. Right, and uh, more importantly, the file size. Right, so uh, uh, that is the properties of a property window. What are the things that uh, we are witnessing? Right, and for this, for this, for a particular file, it has many different types as well. So this is not the file type that we were talking about in the previous position, right? So uh, it has executable files. We generally uh, name them as .exe in Windows operating system and text files, which is ending up with the .txt extension, .docx extension, right? kind of things, images, BMPs, PNGs, JPEGs, right? Those kind of things are their video files, right? And audio files, compressed files, right? Now, how we are going to see these things uh, in your computer? What kind of a, a file type that you are having? Generally, your uh, computer is not showing you the file type uh, by default. Uh, only the file name is displayed. Maybe uh, some of your like your computer is not uh, showing you the uh, file extension. But if you look closely to my computer, let me uh, take the magnifier. Hold on.
right? So if you if you take my computer, I'm having a file name now. Mapping is the file name over here, and JPG is the extension. So in my computer, in all the places it has its name, like after a dot, there is this extension. If your computer is not showing this, you can ask your computer to show that by visiting to view. And then you have this uh, checkbox over here, file name extension. If you put a tick in front of it, so it's going to show you the uh, file name extensions. Sometimes this item is not there. This, is th this came with the Windows 8 version onwards. And uh, for the earlier versions before Windows 8, we were going to this option window. Right, so on this option window, there are two types of, three types of tabs, right? And we are moving to the view tab. And in the view tab, we have this uh, different kinds of list. You have to be very careful in here. So it says display icon on the thumbnails and display the file size information in folder. They are being selected. And it says do not show hidden files and folders or drives inside here. And uh, see, there is a close call hide extension for known file types. So if you if you if you put a tick in front of this, it's going to uh, uh, hide your extension from the file name. Right? Let me tick it and let me apply it and say okay. And now you can see I can't see the extension only map word is there right if i visit here and say if i put the tick file name extension so now it can see mapping.jpg so that is what you call the extension of a file or oh indirectly it's indicate what type of a file is this all right is that clear, everyone? So, how about that? Explain again now. Ma, kothena the nirmana explain window. May make a karagatta vidhi hada. Yes, the idea thama mere file types ki ne kote. Oh, a file type can no, Oh, file type can you can you man a pen away? Then me, uh, Magyar file like a namai type a kai de kama pen and a thing. It were file types varga the end of the book. Tamang it can attack in hair, right? So when it comes to the file types, as I told you, there are different kinds of file types, right? Uh, yeah, let me take the magnifier again. And you can see uh, there is a file type called JPG. So JPG picture file type, right? Image type. So these are PDF. It's, it says it stands for portable document format, right? It's a, a docu text document kind of a thing, right? Here you got a PNG again. Again, an image file type. And this file has the extension of XCF. Now, XCF, now this is the this is a uh, graphical editing software which is done by the GIMP. So that is having this extension, which is called XCF. Right? And uh, if you think about a particular uh, video, so here it has MP4. Those are video files, MP4, right? And if you, uh, for PowerPoint, it has a different uh, extension, PPTX, right? So likewise, there can be many different extensions. 
දැන් ඒකට ඕගොල්ලෝ ඔතනදී පොඩ්ඩක් දැනගන්න එක හොඳයි ඒකලට බුක් එකේ පෙන්නලා තියෙන එක රයිට් කියන්නේ මම මෙතන ඔයගලට දීලා තියෙන ෆයිල් ටයිප්ස් කීපයක් ඔන්න ඔය ටිකෙන් පොඩ්ඩක් මතක තියාගන්න exe file exe file means the executable file ඒක අපි නමෙන්ම හිතාගන්න පුළුවන් execute කියන එක තමයි exe කියලා right text file එක txt docx docs වලට අදාළ එක right kind of things compress file එකක් කියලා කියන්නේ ඔයගොල්ලෝ අහලා තියෙන windows rar ඊළඟට dot zip ඔය වගේ ගොඩක් තියෙනවා අපි කොහොමද file එකක් compress කරන්නේ ඒක හරි ලේසි වෙලා මේ ෆයිල් එක කම්ප්‍රෙස් කරන්න ඕන නම් you can right click and you can say send to compress folder right so once it is been compressed you can see something like this see now this is the compress file of this right so com file compression is there to reduce the file size for several different reasons like if you want to email if the email is that big we are going to compress the file right uh, and uh, if you want to save the storage we are going to compress it so likewise you can use the file compression for many different purposes right? okay nirmana uh, clear the file types gana what is them pehli right so the next one is the directory and file organization uh, yeah uh, let's discuss that uh, on the next week behiming himing oy tika aragamu so now let's move to the uh, uh, gates part and we'll do the calculations regarding it and uh, people who do not need this the uh, 2022 ekin kattiye innawa to ogalanta gates part eka on nattan leave unata kamak nahe 2023 people you must stay you can't leave right uh, and 2022 people uh, it doesn't matter if you leave right okay so move into the uh, gates part so we have uh, came like uh, right okay okay guys yeah thank you dua we came up to the point uh, where we discuss about the sop and pos in uh, uh, the deriving part from the uh, truth table right uh, so that is what we have talked about and let me see uh, what other things we have done yeah so we have done some uh, exercises regarding it so we are going to proceed from here after right so today since you know now how to uh, derive an expression uh, from the uh, sop like like in the form of sop and pos uh, the next part is about simply find this right so the man ekat ogolot ekka ekka sarayak kara e first to table ekata relevant wena vidihata we have done the uh, simplification and find that the answer is going to be the very same right so in the examination now what is happening is you are given the uh, question uh, some particular scenario and ask you to draw a particular uh, truth table regarding this scenario and then you are asked to derive the expression so now you know how to derive it right because we have derived the expressions for several different truth tables right it is it, it is very easy and in the examination sometimes they clarify or sometimes they specially mention uh, derive an sop or derive an pos in the cases where you are not limited uh, with from the pos or sop 
you have the liberty to derive an expression. So marking scheme is going to give you the marks regarding that. Right? Have I SOP POS specifically kiyala You must derive the specific term. Right? So now you know how to derive that. Right? So then what they are asking is you to do is this simplify it. And you know one way of simplification. That is by using the Boolean algebraic laws, right? And we have done the uh, done many types of simplifications. So using that, you can find the uh, simplified answer. There is another method which is uh, uh, which we use to do the simplification, uh, which is a new method for you, right? Which we call the K maps or Kano maps. Right. Uh, here I'm going to uh, move to the uh, move to your tilt, right? For a moment. Right now, in the tilt, you can find the car maps. So we, we generally we say K maps. So the name is Kano maps. Now, now look at these Kano maps. Just get the idea, right? So here, this is kind of a Kano map, right? I'll explain this to you. So these kind of things, right? So using these maps, K maps, we can have the simplified answer very quickly if we know the technique of how to deal with these Kano maps, right? So now this is going to be the very last part of simplification. Then after we are going to move to the uh, entire question. Can you see now you have done number? Go home at the truth table letter had that and can get my meter in pass epic attack. First, we have to get to know about the Kano maps as well, right? So there are some things for you to learn inside this, right? So let's learn it uh, slowly, right? So today, I'm going to talk to you about the K-maps. Right, so now when it comes to K-maps, first we have to have an idea about these K-maps. Now, First thing that the very, very important thing that you have to remember is K maps can only be used for a standard SOP or a POS, right? Only, only two standard ones. So that means non-standard simplifications. If you want to simplify a non-standard one, first you have to convert that non-standard one into a standard one. Then you can simplify it using the k -man. Or otherwise, you have to use the uh, Boolean algebraic rules. Then you have to simplify it, right? So k-maps are there for only the standard SOPs and POS. So it is perfectly, it, it can perfectly used with the expressions which are derived from the truth tables. Because we know the SOPs and POS expressions which are derived from the, uh, uh, the truth tables are the standard ones like we did last time. Let me second decade, SOP is a standard one and a POS is a standard one. So those kind of uh, expressions can be easily simplified using K-maps. Now, when you are using the K-maps, there are several different things for you to identify, right? Uh, yeah, let me, uh, I have a presentation regarding this, which I have done to the Guru Vedara. 
So I think uh, that will be very much easier for you to understand it. Let me see, let me see. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'll come to this. Okay. Now, the first thing that you have to figure out is which kind of a kernel map that you are going to use to simplify a particular expression. Now, you can have uh, different kinds of expressions like this, right? You can have uh, expressions like. Uh, f equals x dot y plus x bar dot y. And you can have the expressions like uh, a equals x dot y dot z plus x dot y dot z bar. Right? And as well as you can have the uh, uh, expressions like p equals a dot b dot c bar dot d plus a dot b dot c dot d bar plus a dot b dot c bar dot d bar kind of those right so there are three types of expressions. We are not going uh, above the uh, four variables per expression. So you can have two variable expressions as the first expression and you can have three variable expressions as the second expression and you can have four variable expressions like the last expression. So when you are using a k-map to solve these things, the size of the k-map will be deferred regarding the number of variables that the expression contains. If the expression has two variables, now this has two variables, which is x and y. So our k-map is going to be a two by two matrix. A two by two matrix. And we use this angle line to indicate what kind of variables that we are using and for which side, right? So this has, uh, this is a two by two one when it is a two variable thing. So the columns can be named as X and X bar. And for the rows, since it is the Y side, it can use Y and Y bar. And people remember there is no rule that this must be X and X bar in the order. I'm, I'm talking regarding the order. Uh, X bar can be come at the first place and X can be come as next, right? It doesn't matter, right? As well as Y. Uh, likewise, there is no rule, like uh, since you are writing the uh, X and then X bar, According to that uh, pattern, you have to write y and y bar, right? That means you can have this same k map, same k map for the same expression. You can have this as x bar and x and y and y bar as well, right? But remember, y side is always one side and x side is always x. You can't mix x and y together. Are you getting this, people? Right, okay. So then, now if there is two variables, you can have two by two matrix, right? 
that is very logical people because this two by two matrix has four squares no so like if you have two variables you have four combinations right like zero 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 one one zero and one one those are the combination that this x and y can have so if you consider these squares you can find all those combinations right see for the first one i have x dot y we we uh, illustrate this as a multiplication right so this square is x dot y because x comes the top and y comes from here if you think about the second square it's going to be x bar dot y it is because it belongs to the x bar column and again the y row likewise this can be named as x dot y bar the square that represents the x dot y bar term and this square is represents x bar dot y bar right so likewise uh, so k map is a very logical thing we we are having two by two matrix it is because those four squares is capable of presenting all four combinations of x and y right so if we think about this on uh, zeros and ones this indicate one one this indicates zero one this indicate one zero this indicate zero zero right so according to the place that you put x bar and x these squares will have different orders right ek ek patterns ek ek thanata enna puluwan habai patterns hatara hatara vidiha koi me welawa same pattern ekka squares dekaka tiyenne na right hatara dena nan inne hatara dena kamathi den hataraka inna puluwan in 4 by 4 ek sir one man उदाह <laughs> එතකොට මේ කතාව වෙනස් වෙනවනේ මෙතන n x bar dot y ඔය දෙතකොට සර් n x bar y y ඔව් x dot y ඔව් ඔය විදිහට වෙන්නේ bar y bar x dot හරි සර් ඔව් ඒ ඒ වගේ මම කිව්වේ මේක කියන්නේ ඔයා rows and columns නම් කරන විදිහට combinations මාරු වෙලා තියෙන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි මේ combinations හතර unique හතර දෙනෙක් ekai mata kiyanna onu right right so that is how the 2 by 2 matrix behaves right api thama meka simplification patter ta avena ha i'm just uh, showing you the nature right and let's look at this particular expression now this has three variables which is x y and z right so if it is three variable thing so this has three variables so if it is three variables we know we have eight different combinations 2 to the power 3 types of combinations so logically uh, this should have eight squares right so this is three variable thing that means the, this matrix or like uh, this k map should have eight squares so that eight squares are defined like this it's defines like a 4 by 2 matrix right so definitely 
this two side me kotu dekak tiyana pattata eka variable ekak thamai enni like we uh, d dash y plus y bar so api do tokana z kiyala this can represent z and z bar me kotu hatarak tiyana tanta we can assign two variables which is x and y now by using x and y we know we have four different combinations right as we uh, illustrated on here ethernet pen no wage it has four combinations and those four combinations are going to illustrate at the top of each column and we can't lay those things as we want api to ona vidihata ape hitumateta hatara denawa daanna ba there is a logic and that logic you should learn right so what is going to be the logic now i'll show you the logic from my presentation Mm. Oh no! I think it's better I show it from here. It's better. I'm not doing well. Okay, can you already understand that? Then it's effective. Kill my data, right? So you can start from any combination you need. Now, starting from any combination means, I'm going to make a point. I'm going to put a look at it. I mean, ah, right? I'm going to put positions at the top. right api make x y kela kituwa this is z so you can start it from any combination any combination means what you you can start this from x dot y or from x dot y bar or from x bar dot y or from x bar dot y bar it doesn't matter patan ganna kena kawuru unak gatluwak na right so for this moment i'm going to uh, take x dot y as my starting combination x dot y eka instant right and when you are writing the next combination when you are trying to write the next combination there you are going to do a difference or like you are going to have your next term in this pattern you can choose you can choose which variable is going to change only one variable at a time is going to change their state when it moves to the next position only one variable so you can choose which variable is going to be in the next step so if i choose x is going to change its state so x will become x bar so x change its state to its opposite and i have to keep the other one as it is i'm not going to change so we can start it from any combination move into the second step or to the second column i'm going to change any variable i want the other variable is not going to change when i am moving to the third column now i am getting more restrictions when i am moving to the third column the one who change its state in the earlier step that means x now x has become x bar in the earlier step so here that variable cannot change its state so that means x bar going to stay as x bar since it is change its state in the previous step now here the other variable can change its state so y can become y bar right 
So from here after there is only one column, it applies the same rule. Previously changed one is not going to change. So who has changed previously? It is y to y bar. So y is the one who get changed. X bar didn't change. So y bar is going to be as y bar. But x is going to change its state into x. Right, let me uh, recap this. You can start it from any combination. That's why we started from x dot y, that is our choice. So when I'm moving to the next column, I'm going to change any variable I want and the other one is not going to change. So I choose X, so X become X bar, Y didn't change. Moving to the third column, I can only change the variable which has not changed in the previous step. So Y was not changed. So I'm, I'm changing the Y state into Y bar. X bar will be stay as it is. And when I'm moving to the fourth column, again, the same rule applies. The one who changed in the previous step is not going to change now. So in the previous step, Y become Y bar. So that Y bar is not going to change. So Y bar stays as it is in the fourth column. X bar is going to change into X. Okay, is this clear people? All right, great, brilliant. And to the other side, it's piece of cake, right? We can have Z and Z bar, or you can have the other way around, Z bar and Z. Right? So that is the way we are going to write the combinations in the kingdom. Right? When we are having four squares at a row. Right? Okay, people, now I'm going to uh, start this uh, combination like this. Now you have to help me. I started from x bar dot y and I choose the next one as x bar dot y bar. What should be the rest? And what, what should come to the third column? What should come to the fourth column? Yes, type me the answer, people. First one is x bar dot y. Second one is x bar dot y bar. What should be the third one? For bar, you can use the dash apostrophe. Y bar again. Uh, only man. X dot y bar. X dot y bar. Yes, very good. Next one is going to be x dot y bar. Why? Because from here to here, yes, Lalindi, very good. Right? From from first one to the second, y is changed as y bar. X bar is not being changed. So the third one is going to be y bar is going to be as it is. Look at the method of the y bar change, you know. So x bar going to become x. And the fourth one, now x is not going to change. Look at the Akalimena switch in this. Y bar is going to change as y. Right. Okay. Tama make all what I am not thinking. Am I?
Okay, I'll uh, give another combination. I'll start it from the same combination, x bar dot y. This time I'm going to do it like this, x dot y. What should be the third and fourth? Everyone, I need your respond. X dot y bar. Sachin, did you kill them now? Oh, x dot y bar. So, I mean, x bar dot y bar. Again, x bar dot y bar. How do you mean x dot y bar? You mean you cut it now? You mean you cut my card? Near my name? So, x bar dot. No, sorry. X dot y bar. Again, again. X dot y bar. X dot y bar. Yes. Yes. X bar dot y bar. Yes, hurry to hurry. Nikini, yes, that's correct. So this is going to be x dot y bar. Last one is going to be x bar dot y bar. Right. Sachintani, do a do a balanda menu maker. Up it do a kamati ekakim patangana pulwa. एक तेरुना नहीं था। Right. So when you are moving to the second step, doer, when you are moving to the second step, you can change the state of one variable at your will. वो यार क्या मति विधि है तो वेरिएबल लेकर का एक का वेरिएबल लेकर का स्टेट टेका कोई नास कराना है एक का वेरिएबल लेकर एक यानी एक को एक्स के स्टेट टेका वेनास कराने दो ने नेतम वाई के स्टेट टेका वेनास कराने दो दिन ना मैं वेनास कराने बे दिन ना किंग एक के ने एक को चेंज कराने पुरो इतकोटो दुमा में के चेंज कराती है ने � एक अक्लिया तो सचिन तो नहीं राइट इलागा डे थर्ड पोजीशन में कटे आना कोटर में तो थर्ड कॉलम में कटे आना कोटर कालिंग विनास विच्छ के ना काउंट डे कालिंग विनास सुने सचिन तो नहीं एक्स बाय के ना एक्स सुना आओ दैंग सचिन तो नहीं ए आव विनाश करन ने मैं मैं के एक्स एक्स विधि है तो मत आई इन मुकुट में आ कालिंग विनाश सुना ए आ हिम में इन नवा अनित्य के ना चेंज कर कालिंग के वाई ही टिए में तंत्र के ना कोटा वाई बा करना राइट मे वाई वाई बा कर राइट एक तेरुना तो दो राइट सो व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू द फोर्थ वन हैपेंस द सेम थिंग कालिंग विनाश विच्छ के ना विनाश कराने बे दें कालिंग विनाश सुने का उधर वाई वाई बा के ला विनाश सुना मेरे बाद में तो नया चेंज ला ने y bar y bar ma thamai habai x ver x bar kela change kala di teo na dhuwa right great ok Right, okay. Then, okay. Hon that a matha kati yen do ne. Mokad k map pe ka kandhi yin dun no. Ogalan me combinations kata paadaan kara gina yana eka teru mak ne. Samaharaya kata paadaan kara na burdu elati yin wa. I think kata paadaan kara no ne ni logic ke kadana gini hitiyam. So, know the logic. Mechra yi ogalan te ne. Right. E langa variables hatha rak tiyan ek kina. Me vidhi hata matamai combinations gana na tiyan ne. E aga size seka change yun aata. So it's going to be the same thing, right? 
So if you got four variables in your expression, if you got four variables, that's going to be a matrix which has four by four dimension. That means four rows and four columns. right right on one hand you will be having two variables in the other hand you are going to have two variables as well so the things are going to represent in the same way how it is going to represent like if i uh, start this from uh, a dot b bar if i start it from a dot B bar, I'm sorry. A dot B bar. So the next one, I can write it as A bar dot B bar. I'm changing the A. So the third one is going to be what is it, people? It's going to be the third one. A dot B. Nirmana? So A bar dot B. Can I get a pull on it? Oh, A bar dot B. Yes, Sachintani. Very good. A bar dot B. In the fourth one, it's going to A be dot A dot B. Right now, when you are having a four by four matrix, if you figure out the rows or the column headers, we can copy the same thing as the row headers. Again, A, B, A, K, N, L, Y, A, G, T, A, M, A, K, B, A, L, A, G, N, C, D, E, K, L, I, N, A, H, I, T, A, N, D, A, K, N, E. So how it's going to be C dot D bar. एक तो मैं लेसी भी दिया। उबलने में तो इंटर वेना से का पाविची करने पुलवा। इतनी एक वेला वेना वाले हम तो इन्हीं तरह ने किया। So आर का दिहा बाला के लिए आना C dot D bar, C bar dot D bar, C bar dot D, C dot D. Got this, people? Right, brilliant. Now, now, can you recognize the uh, squares of these matrices? Like, uh, if I take this, if I consider this uh, two by four with this combination. how the boxes are going to be uh, named. This can be named as x dot y dot z. This can be named as x dot y dot z bar. This can be named as x bar dot y dot z. This can be named as x bar dot y dot z bar. This is going to be x bar dot y bar dot z. This is going to be x bar dot y bar dot z bar. And this is going to be x dot y bar dot z. And this is going to be x dot y bar dot z bar. 
Is that clear, everyone? Oh, one zero command the meta Indian. Where I handed me a Nirmana me Uda one zero the other. Yes, sir, you take it in the set of extra time of terms, no, the exa either a caragon. Oh, it's a cut up are a calling. Oh, guys are a field color than zero selling. Me, 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 mad, mad, feel current again. Ekatamaka Takarine, Ekatamaka Takarine, me, the denna Saraline, again, ex kian nekanang, ex bakiani bindu, it would take a tear, a peaker bindu daga nekanakarani. Oh, sir, Harega, Harima, Mathetic, Mathetic, Tamaka Takarine, in Nekamaka. Tama may make a mood to right? And uh, if you think about these things in ones and zeros, how it is indicating. So this indicate one, one, this indicates zero, one, this indicates zero, zero, this indicates one, zero. So this indicates one, this indicates zero. So if you think about the combinations over here, so it is going to be one, 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 this is going to be zero, one, one, Zero zero one. Uh, I'm sorry. This is going to be one zero one. This is one zero zero. This is zero zero zero. This is zero one zero. And this is one one zero. Simple as that. Right. So you can overlander. Make a one zeros will in do not maintain Karagana Puruam, X and Y's will in do not maintain Karagana Puru. Right. Let me do another example. Here I'm going to uh, do a one with ones and zeros. Then I may be XY Patanga network. If I uh, tell you, like, I'm using zero zero over here. So the same rule applies, right? Overland take number up when ask around the pool and change current pool one state picker. And it take change current a bit. So if I write the second one as one zero, what should be the third one? One one. One one and on a very good line in the yes, yes, uh, Nirmana. One one. So the next one is going to be one one. What should be the last one? Yes, Lalindi. Zero. It's a zero and one. Very good, Nikini. Right? Simple as that. Are you? You could be which then. We know some other main. Lamai Taparekina, who take it up stuck to that in Right, I started from zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Right. If I start this from one zero and the next one is one one, what should be the rest? Yes, Sachintani. Yes, very good. Sachintani, uh, yeah. 
Next one is going to be zero one. Very good people. The last one is going to be zero zero. Right, good. So you guys are getting it. So very good. So keep it up. Right, so now we know how to figure out which kind of uh, K map that we are going to use. If it is two variable, it's going to be a two by two. If it is three variable, it's going to be a two by four. If it is four variable, it's going to be four by four. And as well as we know how to name a K map, right? So the naming part is done, right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we are going to interact with a particular expression. Right, then expression right? right? So let's 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 take a simple K map, right? I think I can show you things from the uh, this particular expression, yes. Right. And look at this. Okay, so this is the expression that is given to you. A dot B plus A dot B bar plus A bar dot B. So we have A bar and A uh, in the uh, in a horizontal manner and B bar and B in the vertical manner. So since there are two uh, variables, we use two by two K map. So now it's only a matter of finding the correct square. The, what are the names of these cells? So we only need to plot a one to the specific cell. So first I have what? A dot B. And where is my A dot B? A dot B is over here. Right? So what I can do is, I'm going to plot a one at the A dot B cell. Is that clear people? We are going to plot a one on this specific place. Right. Okay. Then, then we have a dot b bar. So what is the a dot b bar? It is right over here. Then I'm going to plot an a dot b bar on the specific place. And the third one is a bar dot b. So a bar dot b means here. So I'm going to plot a one on this specific place. Now, what you have to keep it in your mind when you are doing this thing. First thing, you are putting ones on the places according to a SOP. SOP SOP expression plot Right? So we use one to represent a term of a SOP. When we did it on a multiplication indicate one one. Now in the POS, we have additions. 
It's a product of something. So additions are indicated by a zero. Api eka passe kata karamu. Metanadi matagati yada under. SOP expression ne kapta mai mehema ones dala ki plot karagani. So what are we doing is when we are given a particular expression, we read the expression. According to that, we are going to plot the ones inside the k-map. So then some of the squares will be there without filling by a one. So for those squares, we are simply put a zero. Right? Simple as that. Right? We simply put a zero. निर्माण मेतन आरगण राइट तुम इलाका के मैप पे के होल्ड ऑन या या दिस इज़ द एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज़ गिवन सो इट हैज ए डॉट बी डॉट सी ए डॉट बी बा डॉट सी ए डॉट बी बा डॉट सी बा ए बा डॉट बी डॉट सी एंड ए बा डॉट बी बा डॉट सी एंड आई हैव गिवन ओके राइट so let's plot abc abc comes over here then ab bar c ab bar c comes over here then ab bar c bar ab bar c bar comes over here then a bar bc a bar bc is over here then a bar b bar c that means over here so there are five terms we got five ones rest of the things are not filled with ones so we put zeros in every area right okay now then after this is what we are going to do we are going to create the groups Right, they make groups create karanawa ke la kiyan ne. Ogalange not take the high value, to ogalange pe ne groups create kala thi ne vidhya. Look at this. You know, me me diagram me ke pe na thi. You know, the same K map, same K map. They have uh, create different kinds of groups, and uh, I have indicated uh, in the first three situations. I have said. Uh, Uh, one in in one I said unsimplified expression. Uh, in the second and third over here and here I have said less simplified expression, and the last one I said most simplified expression. Right. So the ape purpose ka tamai. After we plot the ones, we are going to group the ones. Right. Ones group karanne. So, when we are grouping the ones, there are several rules that we are going to obey. Right? Can I pick up? Ones group. Turn up. What? 
there are several rules that we have to obey. So what are these rules? These are the rules. So the first rule is simple. For a group, zeros are not allowed, right? So that means you can't do this kind of grouping. You can do that kind of grouping, right? So that is right and this is incorrect, right? So the most correct way is that because at the end our motive is to group all the ones into some groups, right? If you have a group, you can see the zeros are going to be one low, right? If you have to consider the group, we have to consider all the lows, right? I'm going to uh, go through the entire thing. So second uh, low, you can't make a group, create a group in a diagonal manner. It should be either horizontal or vertical, right? So you can create a group like this, but you can't create this kind of group. The methanary ogalanta prashna akinati may are a culling group, a chicken, a legend group, kalatinon again, right? Ekarapikino overlapping kila, tauti kating katakarna, hemakaran puluang, methanati and avera, the diagonal group. That is not allowed, right? So the still the correct way according to this K map is going to be like this, right? So that means you have to remember no zeros inside, no diagonals can be done, only horizontals and vertical types, right? And when we are grouping the things, right? When we are grouping the things, we can't group the ones which is not equal to a two to the power. In other words, inside a group, there should be number of ones, which is equal to a two to the power. Eka group eka ketule, eke eva, te none deke bale ekata samana pramana. Ekan ekak, dekak, hatarak, atak, dasyak. Yana vidhya. Vena numbers pramana te ene bed. Right? Ekan then bindu da gan ne bed tulata. Diagonally group karana the hai group pe kaak atule ekka dekka hatar atta dhase kiyana pramana valin tamai group pe kaatule tiyan na pulu right ekka na pito no homa group pe kaak khadan na bhai metan di deval dekha kvayale ekka na ekka group pe kaatule tiyan numbers kaana ani teka diagonally group karana ghihi ka tiyan ekka vayar di right me aavo no homa tamai hari vidhi ara group karana mama kiyan na ngotan tena loo ekka Overlapping Katakan them. Right? The make a horizontal and vertical tamai group in the Hilatian Mageo Kuma, a Kavatika cover Velatian. Right? Ah, Minamethan. Group should be as large as possible. Group pick up Atule. Eke eva puluan taramak dagan no, eke api large as possible. Kira kira. It rara culling rules tika tapi oluiti endo. We can't use the zeros. We can't do the diagonals. Right? We should have the quantities in 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. And we should try to take most number of ones into a group. Right, most number of ones into a group. So here I can create two groups like this. Now it is done in a horizontal manner. So the grouping direction is correct. The groupings is also correct. But the problem is these four ones can be grouped like this. Most Simplified term is given from that kind of a group. Can a hatara denama araganapulan, the maker, a pita siras kela araganapulan, netan tiras kela araganapulan, because the hatara denam in one. So either it is horizontal or it is uh, vertical. Right? Here we don't have diagonal things. Right? So uh, the left hand side one gives you the 
partially simplified ones. Right, so left hand side is going to give you a partially simplified answer. Uh, the right hand side is going to give you the most simplified answer. Right, so no zeros allowed, no diagonals can be done. And uh, if we consider about the amount of ones, it should be in one, two, four, eight, sixteen amounts. And most number of ones should be there inside the group. As well as you have to cover all the ones, right, inside the K-map. And here as the sixth one I said, overlapping is allowed. Are a culling cross when thing the monkey one? Overlapping yan the pulwan kid. Right? A overlap karanda win me. Up to kill a thing on a group that got a pulluan tarang ekeva da than the kid. It would up it up overlap karama ekeva than a vadikaragan. Have I yaka meaningfully karando? Right? Now look at this. This K map. We can take these four ones together at a straight. No problem. Right? Now, I got two ones alone. Make a diagonally than the behe. It is out of the rule, right? Then matona may have a tanying may in a can have a group karana pulwa. Muka they are watting in a ka eke kinai. They have a diagonally than the behe. You can say matava tani in the end of it. Have a me itiri vela in the kena. They have a tanying group karana network. I can group it like this. Which is called the overlapping. Right? So it rapid majorly matakatiaga no de one zeros is not zeros cannot be included. Uh, diagonal grouping cannot be done. Number of ones should be equals to one, two, four, eight, sixteen quantities. Right? Then most number of ones should be inside the group. Right? Now, this is going to be a special situation. Right? Now, this is called the wraparound situations. Wrap around situation. The main two by four K map. You can see uh, like the ones are at the edges so you can group it like this so it's just one group hari eta meka kole eka liyala kole matta ta genala nawwa wage mama me note ekey okalanta pennala athiyo wrap around situations like this the me me tiyenne eka method deka wrap around deka Right? So these things can be wrapped around like this. So this indicates just one group. group group. The the group group one single group. Right? Maybe in a special wraparound decker. So these things can be taken like this. So a keva hatter method and a worth a hatter acre group pick up with the other gun data my indicate color. Right? I think this should be the last one. Fewest number of groups are possible. Fewest number of groups. Now, what we have uh, talked in generally, we can't have zeros inside. We can't do diagonal grouping. Only horizontal and vertical grouping can be done. Number of ones inside a group should be equals to one, two, four, eight, and 16 quantities. And our group should be large as possible. Right? And look at this. Now I can group this in this manner. 
right? So, methana, there are three groups, and I can group this in this particular manner. So, methana tibuni groups tunai deke eva, can eke eva deka gani tina groups tuna. Man dakuna the pete hatra tina, eke eva hatra gani tina groups deka. Right, so the fewest number of groups is possible. Right, people, is that clear? All right, and uh, to your note. Yes, Metika. The matter can be done. The matter that the Allah Tibuna the prayer Oh, my matter. Oh, your terms. Tika key that you know. Kata kala that you know. So you may refer that. Now, if I uh, move to your uh, example on the tooth, you can see there are. Different number of groupings, like different types of grouping. The Palavini can have groups to Nakata Kalatino. Grouping make a hurry. Hammer group, a kama, a keva, a kagani, the enemy. But there are three groups. So you won't be getting simplified answer. Actually, it's going to give you the unsimplified answer. Mukada, a plot karana kiapu with the Hitamata my answer. Okay. Answer can be the Makiana, right? Here you have taken two groups, groups dekai. Have I metanying in a one necker? A bit of a yagadakuna to petti in a one necker take overlap karanapuloni, but we haven't used that. So it's not going to give us the fully simplified answer. Same uh, problem goes with this. Metanying in a one necker, a bit of a mayat take overlap karanapulo. So we haven't done that. So the correct grouping has involved in this place. So there are two groups. And most number of ones are there inside the group. Right? Okay, now how we are going to take an answer? Right? So this is how we are going to take an answer from a kid. Then up your chirvilla katakara putika tatagalo gulangi will be a process in a game at the karana you practice it, right? It got a Ogland Terry then got a kite make killer dunam simplification will ready Ogulu Hari as I came up pulling Uttaraganam got a Tagalagan Bulu. Right, so this is the given expression. We have experienced this earlier. So I'm going to uh, plot the things quickly. Right, so I have plot the ones in the uh, a dot b, a dot b bar, and a bar dot b. And we know how to group this thing now. So this is the way that I'm going to group. Now, how I'm going to take the simplified answer. To take the simplified answer, we have to consider each and every group, each and every group, and find the simplified answer for each group. Group pick at a simplified answer. A answer stick a pluses dala liwama, you are going to have the most simplified answer or most simplified SOP. Right? So, first I'm going to consider the red one, the red group. So, these are the terms in that group. Now, what is the common term, common variable from these two variables, from these two terms? What is the common variable? Yes, that's right, Daniel. It's the A. A K and K are my common median. So we are going to take that common variable as the output or like as the simplified answer of this group. Before that, I have shown you the uh, blue color circle as well. So in blue color, you have A bar dot B and A dot B. So what is the common one in there? It's going to be the B. So from the red 
group, I'm taking A as the common one. And from the blue group, I'm going to take B as the common one. So from A, I'm, from the red group, I'm going to take A. From the blue group, I'm going to take B. So I'm writing my simplified answer as A plus B. So A varagan ne ratu part group peke common ekke na. B varagan ne nil part group peke common ekke na. A ava api plus seka part which kalam kodha neva SOP ni. So sum of products. The products for the simplified dance ekata mai api ta A and B ke la groups deke nga avi. Then we combine those using a plus. So the task is simple. We plot the ones according to the expression. We group the ones according to the rules. We take the common variables to each and every group. And then we write those variables by combining those from a plus. Group peke common ticker plus elanga group peke common ticker plus elanga group peke common ticker. Is that clear, everyone? Right, great, brilliant. So let's do a let's do another one quickly. Here it goes, the earlier one. Right, so I'm going to plot these uh, terms quickly. Likewise, so we know how the plotting is happening. Now we are going to do the grouping. So how we can do the group? The bottom ones, the bottom line ones, four ones together, we can group. It is a one big group, right? And the right hand side one, two ones, we can group them together. Right, okay, my group So what are the terms it's going to be? The green one going to have a dot b bar dot c bar and then a dot b bar dot c. So you can see a dot b bar is common in those terms, right? Can you see that? A dot b bar. The variables they cut you. A dot B bar is common. So we consider A dot B bar as the simplified term for the green group. For the red group, you have four terms, right? A bar dot B bar dot C, A bar dot B dot C, A dot B dot C, and A dot B bar dot C. So from these, what are the common ones? A is not going to be common. It differs. B is not going to be a common one, but C is going to be a common one. So we choose C. So now we know the answer. What is going to be our answer? A dot B bar, that is the one term, and C is the other term. So A dot B bar plus C is going to be the simplified answer. Terunada. Right, okay. Right, let's do another. Now it's a four by four one. Right? So we have a uh, plot plot Right, so we write the uh, same combination over here. Uh, a dot b dot c bar dot d. So that is over here. Next one, a bar dot b dot c bar dot d. That is over here, a bar dot b dot c bar dot d. Then a bar dot b bar dot c bar dot d. That is over here. Then a dot b bar dot c bar dot d. That means over here, a dot b bar dot c bar dot d. Then a b bar c d. A, B bar, C, D, somewhere here. Then A bar, B bar, C, D bar. 
A bar, B bar, C, D bar. That is over here. So the rest of the things are going to be zeros. Right? So here we do the plotting. So the grouping is going to be like this. Right? So these four ones can be grouped as one particular bundle, and this is as one particular group. And here he is going to be alone. We can't overlap. We can't do the wraparound, right? We don't have any uh, help from any other, so it's going to be alone, right? So we got three groups. So let's write the uh, common terms, right? So for the green group, it's going to be A, B bar, C, D, A, B bar, C bar, D. So the common terms are going to be A and B bar. Hold on, I think, uh, yeah, and D. Yeah, I thought I didn't uh, have that, right? So there are three terms which are com common. A, B bar is common and D is common. So with that, I can take the common term as A dot B bar dot D. So that is the common for the green color group. So the next one, the red color one is A, B, C bar D. A, B, C bar, A bar, B, C bar, D, and A bar, B bar, C bar, D, and A, B bar, C bar, D. So who is going to be the common one? It's going to be C bar, D, right? A and B is different. So here it goes, the red color one, the C bar, D. The blue color one, he's alone, right? So it's only one term. So itself, it is common. A bar dot, B bar dot, C dot, D bar. So the final answer is going to be, you are connected these things from a plus, right? So this big expression is going to simplify as this. Is that clear, everyone? Right, great, brilliant. Okay, so now you know how to uh, simplify using the K-maps. So by next week, let's do some simplification using the K-maps. Then after, we can go for the real questions, right? That means the exam type questions, right? And uh, there are some uh, uh, extra things that some of the schools are discussing uh, using this Sigma uh, mark and the pi mark. I'll give you some of the instructions for that as well. Samaharla table like a SOPPOS express karana vena vidi hakti yana vidi goda hakti yana tau pa avichi rati nidya mang ekat podda ki yana nopala to next week. Okay, so with that, we'll go for the exam questions. Like before that, we have to uh, practice how the exam questions is going to be achieved. Then after, we can go for the exam questions, right. So we are almost over. Can exam question almost over. By next week, they will be done. So then we have the uh, building blocks of the memories, uh, like this flip-flop and the latch uh, kind of things. Once we're done with that, we are done with the fourth lesson as well. Right? Okay, people. So have a very nice weekend and be very safe, people. Please. Right, uh, it's going to be like we are going from worst to worst, right? Right, so be very careful, people, right? And have a nice and safety weekend. Thank you very much. I'm going to end the session from here, right? All right, people, all right, thank you, thank you very much, Talindi. Right, okay, Nikini, thank you. Thank you, Akila. Thank you.